Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I have my box here from uh, UPS that I just got from United Nuclear with my new toys in it. Um, I was going to show you when I opened the box, but it had a piece of paper in it, paper, which uh, I, I removed all these things from the outside that had like my name and address on them, so I could show you. But then when I opened it up, the paper was like right on top and it had my address and everything on it, so I was like, ah, screw it, so I had to restart the video. Now you're asking, why does he have a Geiger counter if he just bought some stuff from United Nuclear? Is it just like test tubes or something? Hell no. It's way better than that. For the record, I have 45 bars of lead coming. That's not what's in this, but I have 45 bars coming, so that should be good for my experiments. Well, let's see what's inside. I have a rubber glovey. Remember, always be safe and use a rubber. Alright, so anyway, T. What is this? Oh, oh, nothing amazing yet. The good stuff's at the bottom. What's this? Oh, it's Christmas! Look! A little beaker. This little beaker will fill exactly 100 milliliters of water. I got a urine sample. Actually, I'm going to put uh, rainwater in it and stick it in the scintillator. It's a nice sound, isn't it? I'll order a couple more of these. Only two bucks a piece. Yay, not a nuclear. What's this? It can't be. It can't be. Test tubes. Yeah, you're thinking this is stupid, right? Well, I got the good stuff coming. The good stuff's coming. It's at the very end. Deal with this and you get to see the good stuff. Just deal. I know it's terrible. I know you're thinking to yourself, by God, this guy's a nerd. Yes, I get excited over test tubes. It's strange. I should see a doctor, I'm sure. Look at that. Yeah. Test tube. Look at these test tubes. Look at that. Oh, hell yes. Test tubes. And I've got a bunch of them, too. I've got two more whole sets of them right here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, United Nuclear. Test tubes. Look at that. 150 milliliters a piece. That's awesome. But that can't be what it is. Air pillow. This must be it. There's two more things in the box. Christmas. Oh. Oh. What is it? Almost there. I see it. We're not quite there. Look at that. You're all saying to yourself, this guy is a total freak. Yes, I am. Look at this. Oh my god, this is heavy. One foot by four feet. Lead. Lead. We can work out with this. We're going to wrap this around our scintillator so that the, the pesky radiation can't get to it. This is a truckload of lead. Three millimeters thick. This, this is the good stuff. But still, that's not the best part. The part that you actually tuned in to watch is up next. As soon as I get done just removing the superfluous crap from my, my lead. <coughs> what is this, PB206, the stable version, I think? God, that's got a nice satisfying thump. No, 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 no. This. This is what we want right here. Look at that. NRC exempt radioactive materials. Let's see if you can see that. NRC exempt radioactive materials. Norm, whatever the hell that means. He. Here's the little indicator that shows how radioactive it is. It's green, so it must be safe. <clears throat> the reality is, this is a thousand counts per minute. It's very ultra low. I might order a more powerful sample, but I needed a small one that would fit in the scintillator, and that's why I asked them for... See, look at that. Look at that. Just poked myself. I didn't hurt myself, but I just I just poked myself with this thing. I am not using this safely, and safety is normally one of my big things. So let us now carefully do this safely and practice proper safety. Cutting at an angle. If it were a knife, I'd cut it away from me. But with scissors, it will suffice. Suffice, not suffice, but suffice. Cut like this. Okay. Now, let's test. Pure gamma's here, pretty much. A little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's my rock sample. Alright, here. 1,000 counts per minute at contact, it says, 
and sample composition carnotite yellow, gummite brown. Neat! And this is from Moab. Moab? Moab? Yeah, Utah. Wow. Neaty Kino. Thank you, United Nuclear. For like 15 bucks, they set me up. Ah, uh, you know the rules. No rings. Anyone who works in a lab knows no rings, no rings, no rings. Anyone who works in a lab can probably put a, leather, uh, put a rubber glove on, not backwards, too. I'm just all excited, so I'm doing a crappy job. Let's put that on the right. Look at that. Doing a crappy job today with my gloves. I'm not doing anything right. What do we have here? That's an ugly little sample, isn't it? Let's see if we're getting powder on ourselves. You know what? Why would I put the glove on and then hold it with the hand without the glove? Am I stupid? Well, it's obviously real. Here, um, I'm going to put this on real. I can actually see it. Hmm. Well, crap. What can you see it on? Hold on, what can I put it on that you could see it? I mean, you can, you can see it, but you can see it better if I put it on something. Let's see, what do I have here? Ooh, I know. Fabrique National 2011 Arms Catalog Guide. Ooh, okay, well, we'll use this. Why I have this? God only knows. All right, there it is. Now, let's see if you can see the Geiger counter. You can't see the Geiger counter there. Not bad, friends. I'm not getting any alphas, of course, because of the bag. It's beta and gamma. Their probe is not as sensitive as mine if they only got a thousand off of this. T, I have 3,000 off of it. Why? Because I have a more sensitive probe. The damn thing says at contact. It says zero, C, uh, zero centimeters. 4,000, right? Four thousand. Forty one hundred. Forty two hundred. Forty three hundred. Forty four hundred. Forty five hundred. Ha <laughs> More than a thousand. That's alright. It looks like about forty five hundred. Alright. Not bad at all. There you go. That's a nice little sample. Not the most attractive sample on Earth, but it's definitely real. Alright, let's test it underneath the black light. Hold on. Black light. Alright, black light's coming on. Regular light's going off. Not seeing much of anything. Let's point this up. Do. Okay, so here we are. Probably nothing. Nope. Not a damn thing. That's all right. Not many, many, many uranium samples don't fluoresce at all. Lights on. Black lights off. And now here we are, back up against my wall. And there it is. Nice little sample. $18 plus shipping and handling. Thank God for America. $18. I was able to buy this. That's so awesome. Thank you, United Nuclear. And now, let's run it through the gamma scintillator and see what we get tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Saturday and Sunday I'm going to run some samples through the thing and I'll show you what this has in it. But for now, be content with just seeing it. Let's see if I can get another one. This is Tom from anti-proton.com. Bye-bye.